prime sub? Is that a prime sub? You smart motherfucker. Thank you. Scrubby McDub! Scrubby, thank you for the subby. Thank you very much. Thank you guys, how's it going? Happy Monday. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let me get some captions going on here. Those should be working now. Um, glad you guys are here. How's everybody doing? Hi. Hi, Sports Makeup. Yay. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Super Smash Snake. <laughs> Diddler, sup? M Hog. Uh, my hands are in my pockets right now. It's my pocket look. Le caption, as they say in French. I don't know any French besides. Uh... Ooh, nefarious. What is that? Is that a prime sub? Is that a prime sub? You Women have pockets now. Thank, Thank you. you, feminism. <laughs> OMG, nefarious underscore all subbed. Merrick, hi, Merrick, hi. Hi, hi, nefarious. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I've been like wearing sweatpants. I've been like on a new binge of buying sweatpants with pockets because that's the trend. Um, these are pretty, really comfy. Like really high waisted, really kind of like grandpa looking, I would say. <laughs> but I've been wearing them with like a cutie top, which I think is like a nice balance. So the idea is like uh, 90s girl on, on the upper half, Cold War grandpa on the bottom half. <laughs> I really like them. They're really comfortable. Esports makeup, how are you? I miss you. There hasn't been the same. The world is not the same. Oh, good. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoy d and It's like, I don't know if it's party on the bottom because it's grandpa style, but I love them. Um, I love you too. I hope you're doing well. Good to good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate that. Please enjoy D and D. I would love that. I would love to catch up. Um, I I feel the same way. It's, it's oh, it's a raid. Hope I'm not doing anything stupid. Wow, Ellie. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. You guys just I just started. Hi Alonzo. I'm Mary. Hector, thank you for the follow. Wow, thank you guys for hanging out. This is so cool. Um, I really appreciate that, Ellie. Thank you for thank you for the raid. Such an early raid too. This is awesome. Stoked. Um, Wizard, please throw uh, Ellie's uh, Ellie. Thank you for hanging out, Ellie. Um, let's get your channel in chat just so people know a little bit more about you. Thanks, wizard. Um, thanks for thanks for doing that. That was really nice. We're gonna play uh, we're gonna play Never Song tonight. Now I did play it last week, but this is definitely not the kind of game where I think you guys are just gonna. I think you will be like, "What's going on?" But not because you missed the first episode, but just because this game's pretty weird. But it's cool weird. It's like really nice. It's very calming and delightful, which we could really use right now. S uh, sweats with cuffed bottoms are the best. Yeah, I've been wearing like the the like like widest of pants. I'm fifty. I've been wearing the widest, fluffiest, softest pants because that's where we're at. Because there's no reason not to. Hey, your wisdom. You ever wonder about that? Louis, hi. Thank you for hanging out. Um, do you ever like wonder about that? Like, uh, like now with everybody just doing calls, you'd assume that most, 
Most of your bosses when you're meeting with them are probably just wearing sweatpants underneath. I ripped two jeans. Yeah, I so I wore jeans for the first time yesterday to take Simone out for a walk. And holy cow, I like totally forgot about how uncomfortable they are. <laughs> I always consider jeans really comfortable, but I put them on yesterday and let me tell you, they are restricting. And they're like kind of tight in the waist and I started getting worried because it's probably likely that, you know, just with COVID and everything, I feel like I probably gained a little bit of weight just because like I'm not, I'm not going to the gym as much and you know, there's not as much stuff to do besides eat good dinner. Hi, Mr. Yaz. I think we've all gained a little weight. I think Simone's gained weight. You know that? Um, you know how I can tell? Um, we don't have like a puppy scale, but uh, I can put him on, I can put a harness on him and the harness is tighter. <laughs> I think everyone's gained weight. I mean, what are you gonna do? Like the most exciting thing that happens to me is streaming and eating dinner. So I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. Uh, so, Mr. Yes, I'm good. Uh, we launched Pride today on Twitch. You probably noticed we've had a couple site issues today, but um, I was really excited that we finally launched some aspects of Pride. So, uh, as you guys know, June is Pride Month, and so on Twitch we have like lots of festivities. Um, I do have a puppy. Let's see if I can grab him. Let me get him real quick. I was just going to say, it's Pride. So uh, I really hope you guys are going to get into the spirit of Pride this month. I know I am. And we have lots of stuff planned, uh, which you'll find out more about tomorrow. But we launched our very first video today, which is really exciting. Let me get, let me get my dog. Turn around. Yeah, there you go. There he is, in all his glory. He's a good boy. He's my boy. He's also very filled with pride. Uh, Sullivan, so thanks for the follow. We love Simon. He's a big old chonk boy. I wonder if, um, I used to have a Simone cam. I wonder if it's still active. Yep. Wow, he looks good. <laughs> um, you can't, yeah, I started implementing a Simone camera, but he's not always in here, which is like completely understandable. Like who likes to who likes to sit two feet away from screams? Some of us. Um, yeah, he's here. I'll move the camera angle. Why don't you look at the camera once in a while? You don't ever want to look at the camera anymore. Oh, the camera keeps moving towards me, which is not what the people want. There we go. So when I'm working, this is actually a lot of what's happening behind the scenes. When I'm on a work call, I'm like this. Hi, so nice to hang out with you. Happy Monday, wow. Uh, so let's talk about this Pride campaign. And then what's behind the scenes is that I have a dog in my lap uh, asking for attention, crying and begging behind the scenes. That's the reality. He will not typically lick anything that's not food, besides me. It's, un, it's not normal for him to lick. This is a Simone stream now. I hope you guys are ready. There he is. So he likes to be here in my arms which is not conducive to me like playing a game that makes it more complicated. 
Um, but we do like this boy, so we deal with it. We comply. That is one of my favorite clips from me playing Shovel Knight when Simon woke up from his nap and I was like in the middle of a really difficult platforming section. I'm gonna go to the pip. So we are playing Never Song. Um, which I'm really excited about. If you guys haven't, um, what? If you guys haven't uh, heard of this game before, you're in for a great treat. We're uh, at the Booty Power Co. I believe there's also, it's called like the Booty Bum Boys. It's like a place that I'm in. It's stunningly beautiful. It's very, like, it's very pretty to look at. It's very, um, the audio is real. <laughs> All right. He's going to do this thing where he's like, I will sleep on you. Maybe I can get a blanket. And then you'll be more comfortable. I'll be more comfortable. I get this blanket. Will this satiate you? Oh, you're such a good boy. I have to tell you guys. I know you know. But I really love my dog. Astral. Yeah, it's a really good, it's a really good game. I'm excited to show you guys. Hi, Nasty. Thanks for hanging out. I was just going to see, it's not really necessary, but I was going to, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I was going to see, no, I don't want Mike Cam. I want Simone Cam. Hold on. Simone Cam, copy. I don't know why it didn't happen in the pip. Paste. And then if this is annoying, we'll just, we'll take it out. But I thought for now it might be nice to like, I don't know why my uh, Logitech really wants to move to the right. It's kind of annoying. But I thought maybe you guys would like to see a sleeping nugget in the, on the thing. But we don't have to show him. He certainly doesn't care. This is a mess. Sorry, I'm working on it. So I kind of need to use my other hand to hit Alt. Uh, whatever. He is snoring. Can you hear him? I can hear him. And I'm wearing noise canceling headphones that I can definitely hear him. I just feel like this is taking up too much screen. Is it too much? I feel like it's too much. Um, if I could just get my finger on the alt key, I could make this so much smaller. Oh, I have an idea. I'll move it over here and I'll move me over here. Okay, cool. Uh, I just saved, so we don't need to save. All right, so here we are. So it's a stunning, game and we've really enjoyed it so far I'm collecting pieces of um, notes um, oh here they are and um, let's put that on for like a song I know Ellie isn't it stunning it's a really Oh, don't wake up. It's okay. Go back to sleep. Go to sleep. Uh, it's a really stunning game. There he goes. He's going to sleep. Um, I forget the controls, but we'll figure it out. I have a bat. My bat has nails on it. And I have a skateboard. Okay, so, all right, we're learning now. We're learning some mechanics here. Uh, how do I get off the skateboard? Oh, okay, just B. All right, I got it. 
Parkour. All right, and so then I can get this little thing. He is a cute dog. Sweet, sweet <laughs> Thanks, Buzz. Um, let's go into Booty Power Co. and see what's going on here. My daddy had it coming for him. Uh, what's going on? I'm just gonna say, uh oh, because that's how I feel. Look at him hanging up there. That's your dad? Yikes. Lol, I'm just messing. I captured him because he tried to rip off my shoulder blades. Dead serious, bra bra bra. What's bra bra bra? Thanks, Javier. It is working. I heard that there was a couple uh, malfunctions today. The alert is on my camera. Should I move it? Acted like a crazy zombie. But can I be honest? I feel so much relief knowing he's tied up. He's tied up. Either he's lost his mind, or he's a straight up zombie. That's, these are the complications of it. Of course you don't know. You're like 10 months younger than me. I'm older and got wisdom and peach fuzz. Sounds exactly like my older sister. Anyways, now that he's out of my head, she was like, I "Listen, bitch, I fill an A cup. Shut up." And I was like, "I can't argue with that." My pops ran the coal power all day. Made my granny cough. Oh, I did dead. murder one of those. I didn't know it was his dad. She won't stop whining. Wants me to turn it back on so I can make her cough. What am I supposed to do with that? Can I turn on the power? Um, yeah. I'm, the I'm oldest, so my dad left the coal business to me. I didn't say I would. I said I can. Dumb dumb. I'm sick of my ugly, fat granny coughing. This guy kind of huh. sucks. Nothing will make me turn on the power. This reminds me of um, the, f the kind of like round guy from the last episode. Nothing on God's green episode. earth will convince me to turn jerk. on the power. Although, I could really go for some sugar blasters candies. All right, so we need some sugar blasters candy. screaming like that, Simon. He doesn't, like, he can't sleep effectively when I'm s making noises like that. Whoa. That is a wild looking animal. Hi, Lord. Something's stuck in my throat. Oh, yeah, I see it. I, I'm no doctor, but I would say your problem is right in the neck. Help, help me. The smoke from the power pit might make me sneeze. Oh, so, okay, so we need to get the power plant on, but I would still need, um... Some booty, what were they? Snacks, some kind of booty bum snack or something. I don't think I can get up there yet. Can I run to attach to those? I don't think so. Um. Hi, Beach. Up here. Oh. I've hi, Preston. Been all over for you. Come up here. I gotta tell you something. I I need to whisper it though because frankly, I'm ashamed. Okay. Um. Oh shit. What did I just do? Okay. 
Yeah, the itch.io bundle has been doing so well for charity. It's been really cool. It's really um, awesome seeing indie developers utilize their games for good like that. It's a really wonderful thing to see. jump on these bad boys and swing. And I don't know what else to do. I'm pretty good. See, like, I can't even get through there. Can Am I supposed to, like... Oh, right. I can cut the bombs. I forgot about the bombs. Forgot about the bombs. Maybe I can get a bomb. I'll have to think about it. Like, will that destroy this pillar? Probably not. Okay, no. Hey! Why did I resign? Thank you for the sub. Let me move that alert somewhere where it makes more sense. Uh, browser. There it is. I'll put it in the middle. Everybody's winning today. Look at this little, look at this little bud. Thank you for the support. Why I really appreciate it. It helps me buy more indie games like the one we're playing today. Which is really good. Howdy, John. Thanks for following. So, I'll have to investigate my surroundings a little bit more. Um, he is sleepy today. I had to expand the camera so you could see his ears. I felt like that was important. Alright, so I got some stuff to figure out. Oh, can I get the bomb to go to the right? Kia! I have an arm under Simone. But that's so many points. I'll do both in different sections so that I really respect your wishes. Um, here's the first, oh, like, first half. And here's the second half. I have to do them with one hand because of Simon. Maybe I can do it like this. Ready? Is that good enough? I don't want to feel like I'll give you your points back if I didn't do it good enough. Yep. This is my new. I have a couple of them now. I did okay. That's what I would give myself. I'd give myself a B minus. All right, let's get rid of that last one. Okay, so we got rid of some stuff. I don't know why we got rid of it, but we got rid of some stuff. We definitely need to suss out. Hey, Bubblegum. Yes, we do have... Oh, does it have to do with these? Okay. I bet I have to do these in a certain amount of time. What is it? What? What is it? Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Sup, fool. Hi. Of course, bubblegum. See, Mom? Bubblegum loves you. He doesn't want you to wake up. Go back to sleep. So, listen. Good evening, Goeri. This is uh this is all neck here. He did not like that. Well, I don't know if I can say it. Say it. But it's not my fault. I just got scared, that's all. What happened, oh, Preston? Here goes nothing. Whisper it into my eel. I've been stealing sugar blasters candies from the barber shop all summer. Skunky said he'd slaughter my face if I didn't. I'm certainly ashamed, but in the end, my guilt can actually, you see, Skunky will do almost anything for sugar blasters. I've heard. Even turn on the power. Yeah, the voice acting is cute. Unfortunately, I had to hide them from my parents last week, buried them, hope they're still fresh. Hope they're That's still fresh. I don't want to go to jail for being the dreadful villain I am. It's me, Preston. Oh my god. It's like a whole slew of butt enemies. I'm not excited about this. Budge. I already took one heart damage. Oops. What are those? I thought they were all normal enemies, but they're kind of just standing there. They must be different. Yes, this is what all of my preparation has been for. These little fart enemies. I really did like those enemies. How do we climb the butt? Simone likes to lick me too. Especially when I'm um, watching TV. pretty good. Morale is reasonably high. I am very busy. Um, work's been kicking my butt. Um, but it's so exciting anytime we launch something that we put effort into and pride launched today. So I'm really excited. Technically it's been going on since the 1st of June, but we've been kind of like holding off. It just doesn't feel right always celebrating when the world is in pain, you know? But today we really decided that it was time to be able to enjoy pride. Pride is really important for so many people for so many reasons. And we decided that we were gonna still celebrate in some capacity. So that's what we did today. We started pride. And um, it was a, uh, it's really, really cool to see it come to fruition. I think we'll see how the month goes. I think right now, like most people, Oh, did I cut that? I think like most people. Fuck. I'm taking it day by day, you know? I take it, I take it day by day. When I wake up, I think, what do I want to do today? How do I feel today? Today I feel pretty good. I don't know why I can't jump anymore. Um, yeah, morale is 
high. My time in Portia! I did recognize it. Yeah, thanks for asking. Took all that time to get up there. Thanks for asking. I feel like this is some kind of physics -y puzzle. Oh my god. It's so annoying when you overshoot it like that. The only thing that makes it better is listening to this song over and over again. Fuck, Mary! I just probably shouldn't be swinging it that hard, quite frankly. It's not like I need to be going really fast. Mary! Does Simone's eyes open up when I get mad? I feel like they will. Well, if nothing else, we're gonna get better at this today. No, I have not played The Last of Us 2 not. Um, I haven't even, uh, I haven't talked to you guys about it, uh, at all, have I? I'm definitely not opposed to streaming it if you guys would want me to stream it. I think my only fear would be spoilers because I'm not gonna play it as fast as other streamers. And sometimes when that's the case, I think some people, uh, hey, food, thank you for uh, the follow. Appreciate it. I think some people want like a faster progression and I kind of play games more chill. So, yes, we did it. Yeah. Oh my God, I did it again. This is a very complicated existence for me. Um, you want me to stream it, Liz? I would like to stream playing it. Um, I think it would be a fun, like, long form stream. It would be something that we'd play over a long time. Ooh, well, I'm sorry that you have uh, an injury, but it's kind of nice that you'll have all that free time, huh? I hope you spend it doing something you enjoy. Yeah, I specifically saw a post. Um, I will not get into spoilers, but I specifically saw a post about dog violence. And as you can imagine, how I feel about dog violence. I'm not for it. So that really bothered me. Chillin' with my screen plays. That sounds nice. Um, my uncle recently had to have surgery and he like totally was immobilized and um, I was like so what are you doing all the time and he was like I was like I'm watching so many goddamn movies and DVDs I'm having a great time and he and he really seemed like he was he was like I'm killing it oh shit shit wait that totally should have blown that up Writing, that sounds nice. Oh, 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 he's awake. He's awake and upset. What is it? Are you okay? Do you want to go? You don't have to stay up here with me, but you do have to respectfully get down. Oh, he heard like a bark or a noise and when he hears that he's like oh, I should take off Simone cam if there's no Simone cam because it just becomes some kind of weird uh body cam <laughs> uh Simone cam gone 
It's like a crop top cam. Do we want such a thing? Probably not. Okay. No, it's normally because he hears like a noise of any kind. He's very protective. He's very protective of the house, and like, if he hears something on the front door, like, oh, uh, the most common thing, uh, uh, someone delivered a package. It's an Amazon delivery guy. Simone freaks out. <laughs> he already ate, and he already pooped, so it can't be those. I cross him off the list when he complains. I'm always like, what is it? What is it that you need this time? I'm a, really, I'm not frustrated, but I'm still not sure uh, what I'm supposed to do. I'm figuring it out slowly. My thought is, is that these bombs, I'm not sure why that bomb didn't blow up that metal box. It should have, should have. And then why are there two X's on this? Why would you give me two X's? It should just be one. It doesn't even make sense why there would be two. It's kind of odd. Bork. Sniff. Bar. Bar. Bork. Bar. Native bark. tag! Thank you for donating that. Thank you very much. I really appreciate um, all the support you've given this stream. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Native Tag. Also, still very glad that I changed the audio cue for that because it's just really made me, like, become super aware of it. On this kid. Watch out for Punky. That's me. Punky. <laughs> That's me. Punky. We do have a sick skateboard. We don't have a lot of items. Did you see what Skunky got me? Uh -oh. It's a speak and say. Speak and My say. Speak and say. It's those cool toys you pull the lever and it makes animal sounds. I'll let you play with it if you want. Just promise me you won't break it. It's okay. So so cool. I even train my pets at the water tower to respond to certain sounds. They seem to like the sound of a kitty. Yeah, it really is. My brother Skunky got it for me. Well, I mean, uh, that's his new name. Skunky's name wasn't always Skunky. Everyone in Redwind Park is so confused, especially the post office. That's me. They keep calling him Colin. Yeah, it honestly pisses me off. I was the one to change my name first. Now everyone calls me Skunky. No, oh, I'm, I'm Punky. Punky. What ifs? At least I got my speak and say. Please, please, please. If you play with it, do not break it. I hope I don't. I'll do my best. Punky speak and say. You can whack the handle and it will say animal sounds. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I have this speak and say. So, trespassers will be shot in the face by Booty Bum Army. Booty Bum Army. All right, we cannot continue. The fingers say. Yeah, I can definitely see uh, Life is Strange in this. Yes. Hi, Tasman. We are still playing um, this funky game. <laughs> the good boy says. A good boy. I'm looking for the cat. The chump says. <laughs> The gun says. <laughs> this game is so strange. Why? Why is that in a children's toy? The baby says. I want the milk. What? What the fuck? The kitty says. <laughs> okay. So they like the cat. Oops. Whoopsie dupsie. All right, cool. 
Oh, this speaking say is getting heavy. I'm dropping it. Just don't drop it. <laughs> Specifically said don't drop it. <laughs> is that the booty bunky? <laughs> This should open the Booty Bump Clubhouse in Red Wind Village. <laughs> I did know that I was going to break it. sat that doctor smile, face down in a pool of bile. Ew! The smile looked up and gazed that. at. Pete's white and trembling face. It reminds me of the Come images from scary stories teeth, that you tell in the dark. Your friends won't miss you. What the creepy? Yeah. There's definitely some creepy stuff going on in this game. Generally, I would say it's a really relaxing game. Um, I mentioned this last time, but I, I should say that the game starts with a tiny warning saying that it deals with like some heavy stuff, like possible emotional stuff. Um, Coraline feels like the right thing to compare this to. Yeah, I totally see that. Burton. Yeah, you can definitely see all that stuff from here. You can see the influence, or like at least the inspiration. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, I love hearing your guys' different takes on the inspiration. I can see that too. this way unless so close. I wonder if this is what you're meant to do. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing with it. No, I didn't mean to do that. I broke it. I broke the thing. My thought was, I think I can with the skills that I currently have. I think I could hit all four of these and get that to go down. I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm going to just mess with it for a little bit and see if I can. Yeah, sad, whimsical childhood. Yeah, there's definitely an element of that, hey. I wonder what that is to kids now or teenagers now. Oh, I fucking missed. All right, we're gonna get it. Jack, I think we can see elements. Oh, cool. I bet I need um the umbrella. Oh, is this like literally as far as I can go? Okay, I'm an idiot. I thought like maybe there'd be more stuff back there. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here yet. So we want to go to a clubhouse. I don't know what clubhouse. The booty bum clubhouse. Is that all the way over here? Let's go. Here's the sick bird. Sorry, bird. I'm gonna turn that power on for you. 
This is the Power Co., which is not the same as the Clubhouse. I was wrong. Okay. It's real. This is very fun, by the way. It's as fun as it is it you would think. That is a chonky chocobo. That's a chonkabo. <laughs> I don't know if I can do six stunts. Looks like sometimes the board does a kickflip. Kickflip was all I was ever able to do when I was that age. <laughs> that was definitely the extent. <gasps> oh, I got stuck! Trying to think of like what movie like formed me when I was younger. Um like when I was a kid. What movie did I really like? When I was a kid, I really liked, um, my dad really liked me to watch those, like, movies that were, like, cool when my dad was younger, like Animal House, and we would watch, like, Monty Python, that was, like, a big deal when I was, like, uh, a kid. Caddyshack, right? Like, my dad had me watch all that stuff when I was growing up. So that was kind of a big deal because I've always kind of like idolized my dad. So if my dad thought it was really funny, I was like, that is really funny because that was just the way it was. Um, on my own, I know this is going to sound really silly, but I really liked Harriet the Spy. I like vividly, I fucking kind of wish I didn't just fall. Um, I like really liked being able to be a spy. That was like a big deal. I used to carry on a notebook and stuff. Um, my schedule is typically Merry Mondays, which is an indie game or any game I just feel like playing. Um, Tuesdays is Dead Space and Thursdays is um, Silent Hill. Um... Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the Police Academy series, so my fear is that I would honestly get them mixed up. Oh, and that it should be 6 p.m. every day, but it almost always I'm delayed, but yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be 6 p.m. every day, but I find that I'm always like behind. Because I work until six, so I have to like kind of like leave work like five minutes ahead to like get this done on time so i'm supposed to go to a clubhouse but i don't know what clubhouse or where it is is it not in the booty bum district like maybe it's because i feel like i've combed this space um i think it might be somewhere else so i might leave the booty bum district and see if i can find it somewhere else what are your thoughts on Resident Evil 8? Well, it's really early, but I'm stoked. And my plan is to absolutely play it. Booty bum. Uh, I'm very excited to play it. It's, it was so early. That um, I actually was like worried because it took ages for them to make seven, make it so great. I am excited for werewolves and witches. Um, I'm gonna save just out of safety. Booty bum, booty bum, booty butt cheeks. So I have this key.
key and I swear in town there were doors that I didn't have keys to. So let's go to town and see if this key opens up a town door. That makes more sense to me than like constantly going around the same booty bum area looking for something. Hi, Rage. Hotel. Booty bum gang owns the hotel. Gemstone padlock, that's not us. What about this one? This is what I was talking about. I thought maybe that was us, but. This is the barber shop. I've already been in here. So we'll kind of just keep messing around here. So this one's locked from the inside. And that's the end of town, so I will, um, I'll figure it out. I don't need help. I'm just talking out loud. Horrible. Um, I've played through a lot of video game horror franchises, but definitely not every one of them. There's still a lot more. Um, like, I haven't played through, what's the one that's always like, it was like in a cornfield or whatever, and it's first person? I feel like I could play that one through. Whee! Booty bum! Booty bum! This person's asleep. And there's a giant booty bum sign. Outlast! That was what I was talking about. Oh, this is like a whole big house. Fatal Frame, Outlast, Siren, Clock Tower, Evil Within. What's the one with uh, System Shock? All these kids are asleep. This is how I would probably tag buildings with poopy and stupid. Hello, welcome to Booty Bum's super secret post office. First name, please. Haunting Ground. System Shock is good. Yeah, I heard that it it is. There's a demo for System Shock. If you guys are, uh, if you guys are interested, I could play the demo. But I don't know if the demo's like, you know, I don't know if the demo is like 45 minutes long or two hours. Last thing, please. Oh, wait, there's only one Pete. Let me see here. Hmm. <laughs> I've got nothing for you, man. Not with that name, anyway. Yeah. Have you considered <coughs> looking around the club? Maybe your name is something else. <coughs> okay. So that's not my name. So we have to find my name. Looking around the club. So let's look around the club. Uh, August 5th, 1965. Dearest Diary, I'm feeling downcast today. Aww. I watched her as she talked to that silly orphan boy. Her hair sweeping through the wind like shampoo-scented waves of grass. Moran is so creative, so brave, so everything. The purest form of beauty, unmatched. A goddess of smooth, sun-feckled shoulders. 
I'm in awe of her. So often do I wish that I could say it proudly, out loud. Why, oh words, aren't you so broken? A bully's mouth with no hesitation. Mm. In other news, Colin suddenly decided his name should be Skunky. I prefer his full name, Colin James Coy. But whatever, if the shoe fits. Introspectively and affectionately, Simeon. <laughs> Is August my name 6th, Skunky? Dearest diary, my sunshine, my dancing princess of feminine mystery is still missing. If your stupid piss mouth boyfriend wasn't such a coward, maybe he could have protected you. But neither would I. Neither would I. A trivial poem is all I have for you, my love. My mare, my garden flower in despair. Wren, a galaxy afar, by Simeon Richardson. Interesting. Wren, a galaxy afar, a glinting pink and fading star. Me, a lifeless planet bare. Impossible. I'd, I'd like, like to, to travel, travel there. there. Who can hold her blinding light? My precious queen of golden might. To peek and see her blinding glare. A pointless rock would never dare. Sounds like the sun. Wren, a galaxy afar. A smiling, laughing, friendly mare. Me, a lifeless planet. Scared. Impossible. I'll never travel there. Introspectively and affectionately. Simeon. I'm gonna close because there's a lot here and I feel like it could get um, more clues and I need to like understand why I'm getting the clues I'm getting. I've got nothing for you, man. First name, please. The only mail I've got is for a Colin, a Milton, and a Perry. Um. I feel like if I get the wrong one, this could be bad. There's three different people in this town with that first name. Middle name, please. I've got middle names of Stephen, James, and John. I don't remember. What? There's three different people in this town with that first and middle name. Last name, please. I've got last names of Richardson, Coy, Was it Coy? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Coy. Looks that was tough. Skunky, your sugar blasters are hidden between the three waterfalls. A bomb could help. I'll be hiding them there every Monday. Please stop beating me up. Okay. Three waterfalls. I don't remember ever seeing any waterfalls. Let's look for some waterfalls. <laughs> okay, so Oh my god, I can hear that crazy psycho with the knife Oh Three waterfalls Alright, a bomb should do it Oh, I wanted it to roll the other way. Close enough. Cool, so now we have the candy. There's this guy's head. This is fun. Slowly skating through town here. Oops, went the wrong way.
I do that in cars too. Gimme those. Preston was supposed to give those to me. I wouldn't give them to him without him turning on the power. I swear, I feel ten times more powerful. Whoa. Okay, here's the secret switch. Give it a whack and the power will be back on. Get ready. My granny is gonna start yakking. Yakin. Cool, so we turned on the power, so the bird should sneeze. Bum concerto? That's nice. It's not a boss. It's kind of like an ironic play on the fact that you would assume that there would be a boss. Let's go to the piano and go play it. like subverts your expectation which I think is nice like it's nice to mix things up okay I need to just uh, look it up but it won't take very long A G F E D A G F E D A E F G D Oh fuck, I did it wrong. <laughs> uh, hi Rudy. Thanks for hanging out. From Mexico. That's so cool. I must have said this wrong. A G D wait. A G F A G F E D. A G F E D. I don't know how I did it wrong, but I did. A G F D E. Fuck, I like forgot. I don't think you guys realize how easy this is to forget. A G F E D. A. <laughs> oh fuck. A G F E D. We did it! Booty bum, booty bum, booty butt cheeks. <laughs> Can I jump on this piano? Okay, good. Booty, booty umbrella. Uh, an elegant Poppins style umbrella. Okay, cool. So I've already seen multiple places where I can use this. So 
First, first try. We're killing it. Let's go find out where I can use this umbrella. Is she cool? Wait, no. Is he cool? Yeah, he's cool. Woo! What is this? It's Granny. Equip in a, to emit a feather trail. Oh, that's awesome. Do you see that? My little feather trail. I feel like I'm sinking in my chair. But instead of like fixing my posture, I'm gonna lower the camera. <laughs> I'm a I'ma check it. It's bad. <laughs> I'll check it again. Still bad. <laughs> Thank you for the posture shadows. You gave my grandson sugar blasters. Those things are gonna rot out his tomb. First you steal my song. And now I find out you've been forced feeding sugar to my one and only. Wanna do the sad thing? You will never wake up. All because you didn't fear me. Uh oh. Here it is. My gosh. Oh, okay, okay. Run away. Run away. Oh no. Okay. Get away from me. I was doing really good the first time. Wait. I really need some hearts. Uh-oh. Die, bird! Wait, there's a little person in there! Controlling an animatronic bird. It's very, um. God damn it. I have to do better with those. I have to do better with those. Alright. We're okay. We're not great, but we're okay. Those are little heart farms. Some hearts, baby. Mama needs some hearts. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Trying to hit this. Yeah, it is kind of being controlled by a granny. Hey. <laughs> it reminds me of Gravity Falls. Um, there's like animatronic stuff in Gravity Falls. It like seems supernatural, but it's just weird design stuff. There's so many of these little fuckers. When 
do I get to hit you? Let me hit you. You done, Granny? Regular show? Yeah, that, that show's really good too, actually. Fuck you, Granny. In real life, I had the coolest grandma. She was super awesome. You guys would have loved her. Okay. This kid is killing it. And he's killing a lot of people. With gusto. a lot of murder in this game. I'd also like to say that my bat has nails in it, so it's not like he's fucking around. Oh. I got this thing now. Let's go up here. It's the other half of this. Cool! Squeak, squeak, squeak. Black Fork Asylum. Check voicemail. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say, happy new birthday. Ooh. Scary. Whee! Having a good time. Oh, thanks, wizard. Yeah, if you guys have not... Oh, is that a heart monitor? ...yet joined, Get on in that Discord. It'll let you know when I'm live. Um, I have a Moobot that will ping the channel when I forget. And um, we'll have some fun conversations in there from time to time. Keep the party going. Looks like it's growing straight out of the ground. I broke it. I got Pete. Only one Pete. Oh well. I'm not uh, on Discord too much. Uh, because of work. It's so distracting. It's really easy for me to like go down a little tunnel where I'm constantly like talking to people and then like 45 minutes has gone by and it's like I needed that time. Like I needed that time to get a document done. Whoa. The space is really trippy. <laughs> Simeon. Gumboisa, Punky, John, 
Simeon, but old. Gumboisa, old. Punky, old. John, old. I know. It's difficult for me to play, I'll tell you that. <laughs> dizzy. I'm the one hitting right while I'm going left. It's confusing mentally. Gross! Oh, what is that? I don't want to know. Gross! Oh! Okay, a lock. Let's save. I, Wizzy. I, okay, there's a guy with a knife up there. Multiple men with knives. Three men with knives now. There's a lot of knife men. Dr. Smile's not in his office right now. Uh, he doesn't really like room 303 that much uh, anymore. He's been spending a lot of time uh, in the attic. I like Wee Bear Bears. I used to watch, oh my gosh, this place is really big. I watch that to unwind a lot. This guy's got a key. Is that you? Why are you so small? Oh, so he's years like later, old. You still look so young. Doc was right. I've lost it. Oh, this is my private million dollar training gym. Gomboisa Elite Fitness Center. I'm talking about me. And all my gold medals. 17. 17 gold medals for acrobatics of all kinds. Oh, those were the days. Handsprings, flips. Spins, more flips, jumps, swinging. You remember now? What would you say if I challenged you to a good old fashioned race from here to the chandelier? You're right, but a race will help eliminate the sadness. Race to the chandelier. I don't know what a chandelier is. For three, two. <laughs> Where's the chandelier? This guy's fucking. I seriously won. Let's race again. The dude had little rockets on his chair. I wonder... Melody may have left me after I broke my neck, but I did just win that race. Okay. I don't know if this is faster or not. I feel like it's not. How do I get faster? <laughs> I don't know how to beat him. This guy's killing me. Old. Dirty old man is. fast as shit. It's locked. Maybe this is a thing where I can. If I could just start from here. Melody, may have there we go. See a loser? <laughs> Nothing feels good like beating an old man. Got him. 
Devastated. I thought I was better than that. Here. All right. Take this pharmacy key. You've reminded me what it felt like to be young again. Thank you. Here's the key. Thanks, dude. Cool. So we have a key. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the clock is on I. That might mean something. Get out of here, you fucking freak! Ruth. Ooh, uh, Lewis. I am all out of drink, so I'm gonna go get one, and uh, and I will cheers. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks for letting. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, I have my dog cam on on this one. Okay, so I will be right back. seven stream yeah you guys have heard lo-fi beats but have you heard nothing but my dog barking for four hours <laughs> for hydrate I did get a huge drink of water while I was in the kitchen uh, but I will also cheers to you thank you oh my goodness I love that video my YouTube channel was like so sad when I worked at GameSpot because all my energy went into making games at GameSpot so I never had time to be creative on my own time right like it's not like I was ever like able to do anything with that time. So, uh, every once in a while, I would just see something and I would take a, a video of it. And one of them was like a saxophone player who used to always play on rainy days. I went and saw him live once. Get away from me! stuff like that post-op pain relief smile serum active ingredients tin boil nestle dips celluloid node i'm not gonna read all that because i don't want to so i need a tin boil two nestle dips and a celluloid node maybe i don't know <laughs> Tin boil, nestle dip, celluloid node. 
feel kind of weird murdering those men, but they definitely started it. Look at this uh, artwork of a guy holding a scalpel. It's pretty stressful. I'll kill you like I killed your friend! <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't have the same vibey that Hollow Knight has. I am murdering... Ugh. Ow! Uh... I'm murdering these men. Like hotcakes. Ow. Right, he's been killed. Ow! Ow! Why are you running away? I like the way I... Saved, so now we can go in here, maybe? Yeah. This guy is messing with me. Are these little candies? Watch out for Punky. That's me. Punky! Punky. I can't believe they let him have a knife in there. Hey, Pete. Why are you looking so small today? Get you a key. It's a, it's raid. a raid! Hope I'm not doing anything stupid. Hi! Hi, everybody! Thanks, Pat. Thanks for raiding. Hi, everybody. It's a bear raid. He's coming in with the bear crew. Aw, oh, thank you, wizard. Um, everyone check out Pat Bear. We like Pat Bear around here. So, uh, hi everybody, we're playing, um, we're playing more Never Song, which is kind of like a chill game. It's fun. It's nice. I'm enjoying it. So please get cozy, uh, you know, settle on in, nestle, uh, find your butt groove, get a drink, come hang out with me. Okay. He's saying this backwards. Get you a key if you get me my smile serum okay so I have to get smile serum for this guy this is the map damn oh cool this is the stuff I need I need two nestle dips a tin boil uh, and I think a celluloid node it's a map oh secrets I feel like I'm going to be able to jump to those red things eventually. Down! Looks like a patient notice. Uh, if you get a daily dosage of Smile Serum, you should be immediately examined and weaned. What is weaned? That weaned is what you do when you're like drinking milk. <laughs> like a like a puppy is weaned off of milk, right? I have no idea what weaned really means. Yeah, get them to do it less. Okay, okay, okay. So like gradually decline. I have like very few understandings of the word wean. It's not like I hear that word a lot. But I know that puppies are weaned off of milk. <laughs> Slurred speech. Yikes. Looks like some brain matter. Ugh. That's true, we are. We have a lot of similarities. But dog are, dogs are more loyal and cuter. 
and funnier and better. Ooh, a cauldron <laughs> in every way. <laughs> Makes me feel like a witch. Should I drop this brain piece? Do it. Wait, is this a collection thing where I'm just gonna collect all this brain matter and put it in that goo? I think that is what's gonna happen. Guinea pigs are also cool. I was never allowed to have a guinea pig when I was growing up. My mom had too much anxiety about basically any rodent-y looking creature. She just couldn't take it. To this day, yikes! Look. When like my girlfriend had uh, gerbils that were like going through like those little tunnels and stuff, she had like one of the ones with all the tubes and stuff. I was so jealous. I always wanted gerbils running through those tubes, like the really crazy interconnected systems. Always looked like fun. Drop in that Should matter. Okay, two. Uh... I see. That's okay. I get it. Yikes. Oh, it's like some green matter. Sorry, that was my phone. Grab it, bird. I get it. <laughs> I honestly think that Should like I drop this brain piece. I am interested in like the concept of running around in giant tubes as a person. That sounds fun. I used to definitely do leaps and bounds as a kid. Um there's this new show going on right now from the people who made Rick and Morty. And it's hard to Yikes. Looks like it's hard to say that it's like this good show. I think it's still figuring its way out. Hi, Ray. How are you? I'm trying to describe the new show from Rick and Morty. Um, it's okay. But anyway, it's got this whole different part where the characters shrink down people and they keep them in like a little gerbil case. And the people have to like live off of the stuff that they find. Solar opposites. Yeah, the show is like, I don't I think it's for me or just hasn't, hasn't solved itself yet. But I have to say, like, the part of the people running around, like, in the cave, like, in the gerbil area is really fascinating to me, and I like it. Yikes. Looks like some brain matter. So, what am I doing with those brain matter? I don't know if I understand the brain matter part yet. I've already done this. I was thinking, I don't want to know if you know, so don't tell me. But my current train of thought is that this brain matter has something to do with what I'm creating, right? Like I'm trying to get a recipe. And the recipe includes some brain matter. But... Can't be all the brain matter, because I need different parts of the brain. Doctor Smiles, he's been spending a lot. Um, and I don't know how to like dissect the piece of the brain that I need, right? But it's like, see these shiny little pieces of brain matter? Um. I don't want any help though. 
No help, thanks. No help. I'll ask for it if I'm really stuck. I wonder if this is the shape of the brain stuff. So, oh my God, it is. So a nestle dip is a circle, a lymphatic pump looks, I don't know, like a piece of wood. Um, cool. Um, one tin boil. So it looks like a circle. Uh, okay, so I gotta find like a tiny circle. I gotta find like a half moon. No, 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 I got it. Um, I actually want less help. I like kind of like discovering it, even if I'm like running around like an idiot for 20 minutes. So I'll, I'll tell you, this is definitely not what a brain looks like. Um, and then the celluloid node looks like a drop. Okay, so we know that we're looking for a half moon. I know, I would actually, it's different for different people, but like I consider these like, Like, the fun is the discovery element of it. So I don't care if I have to do it a hundred times. Like, I kind of enjoy this process. Like, I enjoy the process of solving it. So I, like, wonder if that's what the half moon is. Because it's got that little chunk cut out of it. I've got this claw. I'm just trying to figure out what I have. Oh, there's a perfect circle up there. So I need to start again, because I think what's in here is not what I want. Um, Should I? So, okay, so we want two perfect circles. They look like little baby droplets. A half moon, and I think a drop. So there's the drop. Here's the drop. Here's a circle. Yikes. Looks like. Alright, so we're gonna get this circle. Oh. That was cool. I didn't realize that all the shapes were correlated to that drawing that I saw. Like, I didn't I put it together, it? which is fun. Like, it's fun to, like, make that connection. Okay. So, that won't come back, but I need another drop. Let me just look real quick. So, like, it's really easy to get confused the sepsis with the tin boil, but I need a tin boil, which looks like basically a total half, like, it looks like a half of a moon. And then the celluloid no noid, it, node <laughs> looks like the teardrop, which is down there. So that's the right piece. The piece that I don't have is a tin boil and another nestle dip. So I'm looking for a moon and another little drop. So not that. Not that. Yeah, this is the drop. Oh, okay, there's the other drop. I was just seeing if there were any drops out here. I don't think so. Okay, no drops. So we're, we can get that little guy.
But we still have to get... Oops. Remember when I beat that old man? Okay, so. Not that. That looks like a pill. Yikes. So we want this drop. We're still looking for a half moon. Oh! Okay, that's the half moon. So now we know where everything is. It's just a matter of collecting it. Hello, sir. That's what my pharmacist looks like, too. Okay. Down. Should I drop? Okay. Plus this piece, the drop. Yikes. Looks like. Should it I looks like a moon. Brain piece? All right, we're cooking a stew now. <laughs> you getting pedantic with me, wizard? It's a moon. It's a circle with a bite out of it. It's a cookie that a kid got a hold of. <laughs> it's a big old butt. All right, here we go. Yikes. Look. That's the one. So this should make the recipe. Wait, I made cookies just the other day, and they were so good. Oh, my God, I have cookies in the fridge. I'm trying to go on a diet because I gained weight from – I, like, realized that I gained weight. But I really like the cookies that I bought uh, – or made, and I also made – Strawberry cheesecake. Should I drop this brain piece? Mm. That's no moon. <laughs> that butt came from the moon. Ugh, this stuff smells like plastic mushrooms. Grab it. Uh, I actually forget what I was doing with this stuff. But I'll figure it out. I know. There's like nothing else to do besides like eat food. Do I smell smile serum? Gimme that. You rock. What is that? Is that prime sub? That's prime silver sub? cute. Smart motherfucker. Hey, Timonius. You want me to OMG eat the cookies? Timony is subbed. Eat the cookies, Mary. I like genuinely well. My gosh, this guy's going absolutely hog wild in there. Check it out. So there's a key downstairs. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the cookie. If you're gonna tell me to get the cookie, I'm gonna get the cookie. I'm gonna get the cookie. Tell me to get the cookie, I'm gonna get the cookie. Okay, so, this is the cookies that I made in quarantine. They are cheesecake-filled cookies. So, um, the cookie, uh, you can see like white in it, that's the cheesecake filling. They kind of look like muffins, but this is a cookie. That is definitely a cookie. And then it has like a filling of cheesecake. No, it's a cookie. It's cookie batter. I made a cookie dome, filled it with cheesecake, and then I put a cookie over it. It's a thick cookie. It's a cuffin. It's a muck cake. It's very good. Thick cookies. The cheesecake is the best part. 
<laughs> a mucky. Mmm. A pizzucky. Oh no, this is red. I don't know why I thought the silver one's by the guy, the old guy in the wheelchair. I remember. Muff cake. <laughs> I had one of those in college. I think we're close. Cookie dome. <laughs> Silver. get there in time. There it is. It's all the way down there. Simeon. <laughs> Just messing. I'm a nice guy now. And buff. You are definitely buff. The only hypoinflammatory disorder I have is in these muscles. Ha! Come over here and judge him. Mm, Full disclosure. They might feel a little fake because they are, well, implants. Thanks to Dr. Smile, I am now a new man. This is a really weird... Would you like to hear my monologue about why health is so important? Okay. okay, so when I had hypoinflammatory disorder, I never felt like myself. I felt like a fraud. I wasn't very nice to you, or anybody really, and I'm very sorry about all that. Hmm. So after everyone left for college, I decided I was going to get it together. Get it together! When you came back with Ren, you guys were engaged. I, I had lost all that hypoinflammatory weight and it didn't matter. But even still, I knew it was just good for me to be healthy. So I'm grateful that even though she never loved me, I loved her enough to love myself. You know? I do know. It was a strange feeling knowing how valuable I truly was because of my health. I was valuable because I was healthy. The mirror now told me I was valuable. What does the mirror tell you now? So that's why I decided to get a few lifts in my pecs, thighs, calves, etc. And a couple injections here and there to make things pop. Just so I could be happy, you know? I feel like I don't agree with the messaging of this because- Five years <clears throat> and 22 surgeries later, I'm finally at peace with who I am. Look at me. I'm so appealing to the eye. We are visual creatures, so I'm visually valuable. This is an extreme where someone's like really gone off the deep end of like um, altering their appearance. But like, to me, altering your appearance is a huge part of like what we do in society. You know, you ever seen a hat guy? You, you got a hat friend, a friend who always wears a hat? They're altering their appearance. <coughs> well, I don't care, I think it's cool. Like wearing a hat is nice. Um, I think wearing makeup alters the crap out of your appearance. And I really like wearing makeup. And I really enjoy, like, playing with it and doing different things with it. Um, highlighting my hair is altering my appearance. And so, although one is more extreme, like, uh, getting surgery, hypothetically, I don't want to be this person that's basically like, the way I altered myself is okay, but the way you altered yourself is not okay. I like disagree with the idea that because someone got plastic surgery to make them feel better, that that's like bad or gross or like really selfish or superficial. I think we all alter ourselves in different ways and I don't think any of us should really 
judge how somebody else does it. Yeah, I think I agree with you, Silver. I think this is an extreme, right? Like the extreme is that they require the surgeries to be valuable and you should only do it for yourself, right? Like I enjoy this, so I think I would like to do it. And I, I think anyone can go off the deep end with anything, right? Like I'm just happy I'm finally feeling like myself, you know? Although I will say I've been wondering, do you think my biceps seem a little small? Mm, no. Anyway, it ain't bad. Just saying. I can also see the case that it's. Ah! That it's okay to get surgery. And if that makes you feel happy, then I'm happy for you. And I would support you. And then there's a guy with a machete. That's where this is at. So, do I need to get those three? I don't think I got it in time. I feel like I was close, but not close enough. Close, but no cigar, you know? I did it! I'm also an advocate that you're beautiful just the way you are. Whatever makes you feel good. Pumpkin. You're gonna make, you're gonna laugh, but this, this part kind of reminds me of, uh, like different games where you're like hiding through the tunnels and stuff. Like it's fun going through the titles or going through the tunnels and like sussing out different areas of the map. Eight million, wow, that's really wild. Clay block. Like, that's what reminds me of, like, a hollow knife, right? It's like these tunnel systems. Yeah. There's something very hollow knight about these tunnel systems. Why? That's what I wanted. The J Mags, what did you get a couple hours ago? Did you get Hollow Knight? Cause I'm a freak out. That game's so goddamn good. I can't fucking stand how good that game is. Score! The itch bundle. What's in it again? Oh my god, there's three of them. 1700 items. Nina told me her, her stuff. Celeste Empire. Oh my gosh. Why would they put this many of these fucked up enemies in here? Fucked up. Another bundle, you're right, thank you.
many. Yeah, that is a big thing. Hey, you came to check out my awesome muscles. I did. Here you go. Give him a squeeze. Uh. Uh. Ow! Careful, pal. Now my arm is cramping. Can you hold this key for a sec? E okay, I have the red key, which was by the brain matter. So we're getting there. The whole thing is a nightmare. I wonder, um, there's probably a bunch of streamable games in there. I don't wanna snag it. Get those games. Is it about to end, the thing? Because it's 8.30. You said I have time? Midnight Pacific. Ends in three hours. Oh. We got this. Oh my god, now this is definitely getting Hollow Knight. Tell me this doesn't remind you of Hollow Knight. Oh my god. You guys remember the motherfucking crystal motherfucking caverns? Oh, I remember the crystal motherfucking caverns. Enjoy your lasers. Someone today, um, what happened today? Oh, I, uh, my aunt who sometimes uh, calls me, but we don't, you know, not like all the time. She messaged me and uh, she called me at four in the morning, which is not normal. And then I was starting work. I was like, I'm not gonna deal with it because I'm tired. And then my stepmom, who knows that I work, called me at like 9.30 a.m. while I was working. And I thought, oh my God, someone in my family is sick, you know? How the fuck am I supposed to get through here? Uh... And I asked, uh, I called my family when I had a break at 10 a.m. after worrying about it for a really long time. And my stepmom was like, well, I don't know why your aunt called you, but, oh! She was like, I just needed some information from you. And I was like, oh my God, I've been having anxiety for like the last goddamn year. I know, I didn't answer, I don't answer my phone very often. And, um, oh my God, this fucking place is huge. Oh wait, is this back at the beginning? Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, I hadn't answered a phone call in so long and my stepmom was like, when I called her back, she was like, you got my voicemail. And I was like, no. <laughs> 
Definitely did not listen to your voicemail. I, you called me and I'm calling you back. This is the system. This is the extent of the phone system. I literally don't know why anyone leaves a voicemail anymore. If you leave a voice... Oh, fuck. What? If you leave a voicemail... You're being silly. Stop it. There's no need to leave a voicemail anymore in society. So, don't do it. These don't have a timer, as far as I'm aware. I just have to... How do I keep getting lasered? I'm not sure... How to get that last one. Maybe one more hit. How to do it. Yeah, you can definitely uh, have your entire voice transcribed. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do this without taking any damage, because I'm definitely going to take damage if I do it this way. But I'll also live, so... I might just... I can't go that way because I have to I have to use the left bucket to get up there gotta have that left bucket and then I gotta go through this laser I can see that which I'm gonna get hurt no this is what we didn't want to happen. We wished for this not to happen. What do you think that dinking noise means? Dink. 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 Hey, Ellie. Freedom, thanks for the follow. We're still, like, we're on a different puzzle. I think... Did this not fucking give me more hearts? Because I'm definitely going to die. Oh, it's my low battery heart. I thought maybe it was um telling me that I needed to hurry up and flip those things. Yo, wizard, thank you for gifting a sub to Ellie. That was really nice of you. Ellie, enjoy your emotes. Thank you for raiding earlier today. I really appreciate that. That was really nice. I kind of have to kill myself unless I can do this without taking injury, but I didn't see how. But maybe that's the point, is to suss this shit out and do it. And I just saved, so if I didn't do it right, I'll just see how like they all got reset, the, the squares. That's right. Enjoy Simone Thick. That's the favorite. So it's like I just don't see how I'm supposed to get all of these without getting injured. I died. 
Definitely dead. <laughs> so I have all my hearts now. Ah! <laughs> That's my son. I hope you enjoy. That's uh, it's my dog in a sh uh, pair of booty jorts. 7.9 million, it's wild. All right, so we're gonna do this laser section. Uh, I might have to redo this. No, I don't. Simone Thick Bottom Kish. That should be his full name. So it's like, how am I supposed to do this without taking damage? Oh, right, the bucket. I'm an idiot. Okay, so. There's one. Here's two. Balls! Oh my god, and I forgot the one up there. On the upper left. Shit. Strike! How dare you? You have to ask for permission. <laughs> close. Alright, one more. Up, see daisy, and I'm hoping this is all I need. It was all I needed. Okay. So the next question is, is how do I get over there with all these lasers? I have not heard of Dragon Border. Jax, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good time. How do I get up there? has the least amount of lasers in my path. Still has a decent amount of lasers. I feel like it's less laser. It's got this major laser right here. This big boy. I'm not sure. Oh, you fell through. I fell through. Okay, so I am I don't have a plan for this. I suppose it's supposed to be down and I'm supposed to somehow dodge the laser on the way up? Is that maybe what it wants me to do? All right. Okay. There's a bounce here. that pumpkin give me a heart? I think it did. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you have to eat at least one laser in that section. Ugh. The Mondra, we don't like those. They're definitely just butts. Pete, there's something you should know. It's a raid! Open 
not doing anything stupid. Hi! Hi, Monthly Reset! Thank you for raiding! Thanks for sharing your community with me! Hi, everybody! We are excited to have you. We're playing an indie game today. We're playing, um... Never Song, which we like. How's it going? Ooh, look at these raid emotes. There's a let's go. I like them. Oh my gosh, I never check my voicemail. Never. What's Peter Smile? Is that me? This is Dr. Smile. Is Peter his first name? And why does he have Booty Bum Pals 1952 on his... Uh, hey, yours is, uh, it's going pretty good. We are... Is this me? Am I Dr. Smile? Having a good time. Uh, it's been a nice Monday. Uh, did some work today and now we're just, uh, hanging out. Nice cash stream here on a Monday. Oh. Okay. But what else am I doing? Like, where's the progression? I'm Dr. Smile? Casual Monday is good. This game is confusing me. You're already one Pete. Why you got a fucking key on you? If you don't want me to bother you. We're just kind of out here looking for secrets now. Thanks. I really appreciate that. I'll be streaming for GameSpot's, I believe it's called, is it Playing for Good? Or GameSpot for Good? Both of those sound right. Um, and that will be July 1st. Play for All! Thank you, Monthly Reset. I'll be doing that uh, July 1st from 1 to 3 p.m and I'll be supporting their charity initiative. Yeah, it'll be fun. I think Chastity's gonna join me and then I can bring others, but like, I'm still sussing out what I should play. It actually has not been decided yet. Thanks, wizard. Um, so it's kind of fun hanging out with my old GameSpot friends from time to time. I honestly have half a mind to play fucking Rocket League with like, GameSpot alum. That would be pretty fun, huh? Maybe like Rob Handlery and some Josh and some... I wonder if Andy Bow Bow would hang out. A bunch of old game spots. Danny might join if we did that. Although he's already doing a couple streams for them, so he probably won't want to do it again. Maybe, I don't know. Giant, the drunk Giant Bomb East hangouts are really good. I remember when we did that, um, after we uh, were done, I remember Vinny being like, wow, that really sneaks up on you. He just like kept saying that. Like, it was so funny. Really sneaks up on you. Fifth anniversary event, huh? I am not afraid to play more Rocket League for charity. And that actually sounds really fun to like play with like, I did play PUBG on the Giant Bomb E stream, yes. That was the Wiener Method episode, where all I did was talk about the Wiener Method. I nearly won that one, yeah. Just tied in a tub, weigh it out. Some people say you're, uh, you know, scaredy cat, but I say I'm a fucking winner. Oh my gosh, I miss Giant Bomb's E3 streams too. It's 
sometimes during this, like, uh... whole coronavirus thing, sometimes I kind of feel like it's like I retired or got fired or something, and I'm just kind of, like, not doing any of the stuff I used to do for a living anymore. This was... And it just kind of feels surreal. <laughs> That I'm like not doing it. Like I should be in LA right now covering like Bethesda. Like it feels weird not to do it. Lauren Landing did a video with Ars Technica. That's cool. I was thinking maybe I forgot something in this laser area, which is why I'm going back. Because I don't, I genuinely don't know what else to do. Like, I feel a little lost. Definitely could be worse. Yeah, that is weird. Oh, this isn't... This is actually not what I meant to do. I did not mean to jump during this sequence, but it's too late. I already did it. reason to believe, but like maybe there was something in these vents that I missed? Cause like, what was this space doing? I guess nothing. read this. Okay. So let's leave this space. Let's like totally fuck off. How do I get out of here? I forget. But I know I can leave. I think. If I can't leave. How did I get here? It wasn't from this door, was it? Whoa, so many raids? Hope I'm not doing anything stupid. Oh, Britt, thank you so much for raiding. That was really nice of you. Hi, everybody. It's locked. Yo, oh my gosh, those emotes are so cute. I love them. Thank you very much. Thanks for that raid. That was super awesome. We are playing Never Song and I'm stuck. <laughs> I wish I could tell you something way cooler. How are you? Oh, I'm good, Brett. Thanks for asking. Um, it's kind of a chill Monday. We're kind of doing like a hey, hey everyone. Uh, kind of a chill bits. stream. Sweet. No attack. Thank you so much for the bits. Holy cow! How exciting! Thank you guys. Um. It's kind of been a a relaxing stream. Um, Silver, thanks for the uh, putting up that follow. Um, everyone, go check out Britt while she's done hanging out. And monthly reset. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for the raids. I really appreciate that. You did not have to, but that was very nice. This is my friend. They got implants. Like, what's odd about that Dr. Teeth thing is that I didn't get an item. And these Metroid games are traditionally pretty dependent on you obtaining an item so that you can get into a new area. So you'll notice that I have several items. I have this umbrella that helps me float on these floats. 
I'll go back down just so you can see. Uh, I have this skateboard that helps me uh, slide really cool. Uh, and I have a bat. So, all Metroidvania should have skateboards, I agree. It used to be the law. Um. Anyway, I'm in this giant asylum. And I want to leave. 999 million and eight? Is that you? You're so, uh, tiny. How dare you? I hired you. You make me feel so old. I'm just glad I still have my hair. It is very nice. I know it and I worship it. I worship the length. It is me. Uh, it's made by the I same person. Samurai. Worship it. This is made by Thomas Brush. Um, I've known this developer for over 10 years, which is really strange to say. Um, I used to know him when he was making Flash games online. Um, and he made a game called Coma, and I really Red liked it. Red Book of Records called me Long John Silver Scout. That's a nice nickname. Oh, it wasn't easy getting the longest, longest hair. Red, Red Wind. Wind. Too bad he's kind of plateaued. Still I've been nice. trying to get Dr. Smart yeah, like new ground. hair extensions. I um, bet you his plastic surgery skills so we used to like thin the tips of the hair. I used to play the shit out of new ground. Right. It's funny that you like mentioned that. That's like a whole other era of video games that I used to play. Uh, oh man, that is late. Thanks, Britt. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate that. Um, I really enjoyed having you here. So get some sleep and thank you for thank you for raiding me. I really appreciate that. Short for an adult. Um, but yeah, so the Thomas Brush used to make like some web-based games, and he submitted Coma to a competition for a company I was working at the time, and he won. He won Audio. So, Dr. Smile's not in that his was coma. right now. And, and then he submitted... He really, he's been spending a lot of time... In the attic. 999 million. Dr. Smile's... He's been spending a... So... Yeah, and so we we stayed friends. And when he made Pinstripe, I played that too. Uh, and then when this game came out, I was really looking forward to it. I had been like hearing about it for years. I think I helped his Kickstarter. Like I helped like I remember like retweeting it, like wanting to like get involved in the Kickstarter. I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Anyway, the game's great. It's out now. Here it is. Um, yeah, this game started as a Kickstarter, I think, ages ago. So it used to be called Once Upon a Coma. Um, and I think... Just saved. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it now, but if you go into the start of this game and you go to credits, it'll show you all the backers, and there's like a fucking thousand of them. Um, Elmterps, Epsilemster, Emter. Yeah, he closed his Patreon. That's what you said, Wizard, because this game was doing well. I like. What a cool dude to do that. Like, he could have just kept it. Like, he's he's just that kind of guy. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So 
So, like, I got to this, like, really tough section. And then... Ooh, Shenmue. Yeah. Kickstarter's always tough, right? Like, you never know. I said screw it and had to look it up. Oh. Uh, if I keep this up, I'm gonna get frustrated and I'm gonna want help. But I'm gonna... So the last thing that happened was I got here. And there's the phone. And there's an old typewriter saying Never Song, dot 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 by Peter Smile. And there's a song Booty Bum Pals. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I do feel like this is the first time, like the only, oh. My God. I just didn't see these. Uh, okay, so my question is, is what does it want me to make? I have, I need my gamer pencil and my gamer notebook to do this. E M T E R E P S I L. Okay. Yeah, there you'd think there'd be a hint. I feel like it was the, it's, it's possible the hint is in here, right? Because this is where I like, I went through this whole asylum to get right here. It's not Never Song. It could be Peter Smile. P. Ter. It's Peter Smile. God damn it. There we go. Okay, so I bet I just have to... Okay. P. Slime pear. Ew! E. E. P. T. E. R. Peter. S. M. I. L. Gamer God! Oh, bye, Kia. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I'm a genius. Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Damn it. Cool. So, this is a new area. We've never been here before. It's my girlfriend in a cage. Oh. Stressful. No, she does not look good. I'm sorry, Pete. But I lied to you. My bird? A smile. Smiled a smile. A smile wider than a mile. He drooled a hungry discharge. His the word discharge began to enlarge. Feet. You made it to my feast. My children and I now have much to eat. It is weird, Ellie. It's just a doll. 
learned some I need to use my umbrella to not die oh. oh I played the shit out of Hollow Knight Ellie it was like my favorite game is that two years ago oh my god it's like the best game we're very excited for Silk Song here uh I made This is what I was for Halloween this year. It's kind of shrunk. It used to actually be. Oh, DJ Tech Live. Oh my goodness. Oh, that actually, you hosting, like the word host, and the fact that it should be E3 makes me like, be like, ah, oh, DJ Tech Live, like, hosting. Yeah, how are you, dude? Thanks for the host. I really appreciate that. We love DJ Tech Live. It's funny, right? <laughs> the old, the old play on words. Um, I will never forget. It was, was it two E3s ago? I'm pretty sure that uh, there was a Spider-Man. It was before Spider-Man had come out. And uh, DJ was going to interview the developer and play it. And you were like, I am so excited. <laughs> and I, we're, like, we're like, you can do this. Hold together. You get out there. You play that game. And uh, I still actually watch the VOD sometimes. And it's really funny to like, your stoke level is like here and you cannot hide it. In the entire interview, you're just like, tell me about this game. <laughs> I was really excited. I was excited for you. It was just like a really fun experience. Like watching you be like, I love this game. And it is such a dope game. Dude, I'm really excited for the new Spider-Man. Spider-Man's such a fun, like it's built for video games. Like, the idea of, like, slinging webs around a city, it's just meant to be, quite honestly. Now I have to dodge these knives. Aw, dude, you do not have to use your prime on me. Thank you. You do not have to do that. Very appreciated. Uh, I'm just gonna fall down here. A very tough section. Got you, little bitch. Such a fanboy. That is okay. Ow, ow. You are allowed to be a fanboy. I think fanboy is a good term, quite frankly. How to hit him here. Oof, oof. He's on 
only got four notes left. Uh, four notes left here. We can do this. So we're just gonna fall in the center here. Safety first. when I met Janelle Monet. That is true. That definitely is. What? Why the fuck does he have a laser now? wasn't there at all.
Yeah, it does have that vibe to it, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. D, C, D, E, A. Your song reminded me of when we were kids. Just me and Ren. Touching. I feel like uh, a huge mix of feelings at the end of that because I do think it's a, a beautiful game and I think it's a, a really lovely experience, but it's very stressful to like talk about this type of stuff, but I do think it is good to talk about it. Yeah, Gravy, this is, um, I bought this on Steam. This is a pretty recent game. This game it just came out recently. Um, yeah, thanks, wizard. So there are, like, warnings throughout the game. God, the music's so good. There are warnings throughout the game. Yeah, I would say it's a little less than eight hours, because I played it in two streams, and each stream was about three hours long, so I'd say six hours. And I sometimes take longer than your average gamer. It's in the itch.io bundle. Okay, Lord. Well, there you go. It's just one other reason to get the itch.io bundle. Um, but I bought it on Steam and I loved it. Um, it's definitely different. Uh, so yeah, that's Thomas Brush. That's the guy I met like 10 years ago who made Coma. And it's very good. Um, I know Trip as well. And Phil. So it's cool. And I and I know Z as well. I know a couple people in here. It was really nice like getting the game finally and like you know like paying for it, like supporting them. Like these guys I I, I know personally, like they've spent years trying to get this game out. This is like this has been like a thing. So it's been really cool. I also, Gravy, really enjoy indie games. In fact, um, if you guys are new here, I typically spend Mondays on indies. Tuesday is typically Dead Space right now, and Thursdays is Silent Hill. So it's like a mix of indie and horror, but I really like indie games. I like really enjoy just playing a little journey like that. It's very rewarding and fulfilling to me. So look, this is the Kickstarter, because I told you, like, was it five years ago? It was the Kickstarter. Look at all of the Kickstarter backers. Wait until you see how many there are. Because when you kickstart a game, you can basically start at like a couple bucks. I think like literally as little as a dollar, you can get your name hey, hey. credits. Hey everyone! Uh, Sweet. Thanks. I really like Merry Mondays too. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Um, all the money for these streams go into buying indie games or whatever games I need. And then sometimes they go into like just buying stuff to make the stream better. But that's why I do it. It's for fun. Like, look at all these names. Kickstarter Chief Physicians. The Kickstarter raised 85K. So I'll look for you, Silver. And look, and then there's doctors. Like, there's so many different levels of backer. 
and yeah, there's like people just like you who don't put their name. They'll put like uh, blind fish. Um, there's someone who's just Dan. I mean, he could be like Cher, but I doubt that there's a Dan out there that's just like Cher. He's the Cher of Dan's. <laughs> Dan's new single. Hey, I'm Dan. <laughs> What's up? I'm Dan. <laughs> I get knocked down and I get up again. My name is just Dan, Dan, Dan. <laughs> There's just enough Dan's. There's a third option, Lord. Just the right amount of dance. Oh, that was nice. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you for making this. Atmos Games. Cool. That is Never Song. Oh, right. There was a sapphire key in the world. I guess we should probably go check out and just see what it is real quick, huh? I was wondering what that was. There's definitely a sapphire, sapphire lock in town. I'm just curious. Like, we've beat the game, so at this point, it's just kind of like a interesting thing that they would... That would be nice. <laughs> a secret happy ending. I wonder if I should save or not. Oh, all my hearts are gone. Look. You see that? I used to have like nine hearts. Oh my gosh. Are these people who passed away while they were making the game? I'm not sure. Newgrounds did not, I guess it kind of did. Whoa, why is Gronk in here? Oh my gosh, and their real faces are here. It's a backer level. I refuse to believe all these folks died. It's too many. If there was like one, I'd be like, okay, cuddles. These are backers. This, I bet this is like a really high backer level. Yeah, Newgrounds is still there. Cool, and there's some secrets, but I don't have my bat because I lost it. Um, or I got back. It's basically saying if you replay the game, you'll get a bat and then you'll be able to go in here. It could be, it could also be uh, the people who help make the game or, I don't know, uh, playtesters or people who just helped him in some way. Like, who knows what cuddles? This is the biggest question, really. Hold on, actually, you guys can't see it. Um, oh man, you still can't see it. This is really important to me. I'm going to go out of my goddamn way to make sure you guys see this. Cuddles.
guinea pig. Samurai, there's an interview somewhere where you talk about how you got into the gaming industry. I'm always curious. I saw you on Giant Bomb a few years ago. Oh, thanks. Um, I did actually talk about it on the Giant Bomb couch. But, I mean, I'd have to sift through so much of their content to be like, that's the one. It was during a long stint stream. It was the same stream that I got the Kelzone, if that helps. I remember that. Uh, but long story short, I was in games for a really long time. In fact, one of the reasons I'm really into... Um, this game is because this is one of the first games I was in, got into in the games industry when I was like much younger. Uh, I was working at a, uh, I think I worked at a film company when I graduated school and I didn't make much money and I didn't care to, I didn't care anything about like my career or my life. I just wanted to like, you know, make fun stuff and party and have a good time. And um, I got a job opportunity from a small developer in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, to make their video game trailers. And they're not like a big company. They weren't like popular. They didn't make anything that you would know of. Uh, but it was like a good start. So I was like, I'll do it. And so I made all their trailers. Uh, and we had a side of our company called Indie Pub. And we would give money to uh, games. We would do competitions for indie games. And one of the games that won was Coma, Thomas Brush's game. It won for audio. And I met a lot of game developers. And I like really just kind of fell in love with the whole thing and I thought um oh you know what I'll like make indie game trailers for a living and I literally like I quit my job uh Zoo Games was the name of that game publisher I quit and I was doing indie games for a while and um I probably should mention when I was at Indie Pub I spent one trip going to San Francisco to help market some of the games that we were publishing met some people at GameSpot and IGN and one of the people I met at GameSpot.com his name was Jan Meja um, he was a really cool dude he used to run all of the indie live stream or uh, indie live, he used to like, run all the live streams there he was like the technical director he was really really fucking smart and uh, we used to like kind of chat on Facebook and we would send each other uh, video games that we thought were fun uh, through instant messenger or whatever on Facebook and uh, one day he said, you know, e 3s coming up and we could really use a couple extra freelancers. Would you ever work for us? And I was like, fuck yeah, I would. Uh, and so I was living in Australia at the time and I said, if you can get me a job at E3, I will move back to Ohio. I'll move in with my parents and I will take this goddamn job. And I did. And I moved into Ohio and I flew to E3. And I did E3 for GameSpot.com as a, I don't know, contractor. I edited video. And I met the boss at the time. Her name was Neha. And um, she was pretty cool. And she also really liked me a lot. I think she was, like, a heavy advocate where she was like, you know, there's not a lot of women in this industry. And you, like, are pretty good at what you do. It's very special to me because it's what started the whole journey. So I talked to her. And she was like, you know, if you ever move to San Francisco, I'll give you an interview. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I moved from Ohio out of my parents house and I moved to San Francisco with no job offer and not a lot of money and I drove from Ohio to San Francisco and uh, I started doing like free I was still doing freelance at the time for a lot of indie games including Gianna Sisters Twisted G Dreams um, I worked for them for a really long time I really liked them and I started getting odd jobs at GameSpot like doing editing or like doing like weird jobs like for contracting once a week and um, every time I would see Neha, I'd be like, hey, like, let's get that coffee. <laughs> like, fucking hire me. <laughs> and she was really nice about it, but like, there weren't any positions open. Uh, but I was a contractor for a really long time, like a really long time, on a week by week basis, by the way. I think that's important to say. Like, for four months, I think I was a contractor that at every Friday I'd be like, should I come in on Monday? And then after like months of this, uh, I got a job offer at like a market, like a marketing company, for like editing video. And I showed them my offer and I said, I would rather work for you guys. Like, give me a job. And kind of just worked out and I got the job at GameSpot.com. 
doing like editing. I edited um, game reviews mostly is what I did. One of my first game reviews was like Final Fantasy. It was like one of the ones that people didn't like, maybe 14 or something. And it was right around the time that the Assassin's Creed Pirate game came out. If that helps give you guys some perspective of like where I was at. <laughs> 13 or 14. It was the one that was timed. And um, I did those reviews. I remember that. Like I edited those reviews. And um, yeah, I worked there for a really long time. Um, there was this huge, uh, there was this huge thing recently about like how much money you made in the industry, and I made very little. Um, you know, sites like that they don't pay you a lot. They don't have to because there's like hundreds of thousands of people who want those jobs, so you kind of have to like really want it. And you have to kind of suffer to do it. <laughs> it doesn't feel right, but that's the way it was. Yeah, um, so I did that for a while, and I think I worked there for over a year. Um, we used to have a happy hour on Friday, and that's how I met Vinny. We started talking about Dark Souls and um, Castlevania, a couple other things that we just like kind of both knew. We would chat from time to time. He was really nice, and I remember one time Vinny, during one of these happy hours, would be like, hey, we're doing this thing we do. It's like stupid. It's called this like big live live show, and it's like really big, and it takes takes like a lot of effort and it's really hard for everyone to edit it all the time or like be a live switcher he's like would you live switch it and I was like I don't know how to switch a show I'm just a video editor and he was like I'll show you show up and I'll show you so I fucking showed up um and then he showed me how this uh small small switcher worked and um I switched the live big live live show that year and yeah and they were really nice about it and they were super cool because they taught me a lot. Um, I would say who taught me the most would be Drew, though. Um, Vinny is an extraordinary kind person. Um, they all are, but Vinny is a very specially sweet, kind soul. And he would always treat me very, very well, and they would teach me all the time, and they would never, like, complain or anything. They'd be like, oh, this is how, like, the TriCaster works, and, like, you want to press this button, and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, Drew would always teach me all this stuff about the TriCaster and all their backup systems and how it worked. And um, what happened was is um, eventually we lost a lot of our crew. And um, that's right, the internet blinking guy. And they needed someone to run um, the GameSpot weekly live show. And so I was the one who had gotten all this like knowledge from Drew and Vinny. And so I ran the live show. So for like the last two years of GameSpot, I ran all of our live content, everything. Um, that was like when Danny was there, we were having a really good time doing the lobby. Um, and we really enjoyed it. I would kind of consider those like glory years of like having a really good time. We had no money. We were like little scavengers running around drinking free beer when we could and like playing video games. That's how I met Mike Mahardy. Um, Mike Mahardy and I did a Dark Souls event together. That was his very first GameSpot event, and we got along so well. We just, like, instantly got along. And I met a lot of really good friends from there, Josh Shaw and Rob Hanlery. And um, I think what happened was is people started leaving. Uh, Josh Shaw got another job. Danny quit. And I started getting, like, really gutted that I was, like, kind of alone. I kind of felt like this old, uh, like what do you call it, the old guard, you know, like people who've like been working at the same company for too long and all these new people were working there and I was like, I don't know you. And I like wanted, I wanted my people back and uh, I was live stream, I was streaming once a week at that time. Wizard remembers that. I was like streaming um, for Miss Clicks at the time and the person who like knew Miss Clicks or like owned Miss Clicks um, was like, you know, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a spot open at Twitch and you uh, run the live streams at GameSpot, you'd be a good fit. And my friend Josh was like, dude, I, you gotta work here. Like we have so much fun together. And I thought, let's do it. So I quit GameSpot to go work for Twitch. And that was three and a half years ago, almost to the day because I started in January. So that's how I know my half a year is coming up because that would be July. My first stream was Jotun. Yeah, I met you at PAX, uh, DJ Tech Live. That was really cool. That's crazy to think. Um, I started 
doing all of the production for Twitch's live stream. So I was like PAX and E3, and it was a huge part uh, of what I was trying to do at Twitch Studios. Twitch Studios was what it was named at the time. DJ, it's not even named Twitch Studios anymore. They changed the name. Um, but like, uh, they were, they had always been doing these shows, and I was like, we should be getting like, fresh talent like I want I want to see like new faces every stream like I want I was like really really pushed very hard for Twitch to like not use the same host but like use people that were like inspired and really excited to fucking be there and most importantly streamers right like I wanted to use streamers as hosts and that was like really important to me so I like fought a lot of fights when I worked at um studios and then I would say like sometime around it was like over a year ago um, Aaron, uh, she's known as Aurelian. She was like, oh, you should work for the community team because you love streamers and you want to just help them. She's like, come work for me and we'll make really dope stuff strictly about streamers and have a good time. And I was like, sounds pretty cool. So I left studios. I went to community and that's where I got into doing stuff like Pride Month and um, Women's History Month and um, Black History Month. Like all this stuff is like community driven. It feels really fun to do. It feels really important. I like doing that kind of stuff. I like like rallying about common things, um, and uplifting voices that are like really amazing in the community. So I feel really good about it. And I'm actually like really proud of what I do now. So it took ages to get here. It was not a journey that like went up. I think it's really important to say like I had a lot of highs and lows of my career where I felt like I had made a mistake or that I had like gone the wrong way and like it just took a really long time to get to a place where I feel like I'm finally hi sweetheart I feel really good about what I do come here my little angel no don't you run come here comes in here for attention and then he runs away because he knows he's got it. I did push for what I wanted. I am a pusher. <laughs> I would 100% say that some of my lows are like when I felt like people were like in my way because I was like, I literally want to just own really fun things. And if you guys are like slowing me down, I won't like you. Um, so I've definitely like butted heads with people in my career. <laughs> Not like... <laughs> I'm not like this person who's like only done well, <laughs> only made friends. Squid, thank you for that sub. That's, I really appreciate that. Like I, I've i fought people in my career because I've been like, you're slowing me down or like this isn't what I want to do. And I'm very vocal when I don't want to do what I do. But I'm also very vocal when I'm happy. So, you know, me being happy is good. Uh... Vinter, I found you on Twitch, and I was like, I've seen this girl, and it was GameSpot. Yeah, most people who come see my streams now, um, they recognize me from GameSpot or Giant Bomb. It's typically not Twitch, right? Because I was never really a face of Twitch, and that was never really my goal. Um, I do speak for, like, sometimes the community as a whole, but I do not speak for the trees. The community speaks for themselves. And my job is to uplift the community, not speak on behalf of them. So I'm seeing less, but I'm still here. I'm on Twitch, and I enjoy this. I enjoy what I do. And, um, I like, I like doing this. Thanks! I could use a hug. I like hugs. <laughs> uh, I like you guys, and I like doing these Monday streams, so I really appreciate, like, how kind you guys have been, um, through this whole path. It's been really fun. Um, I would say, in terms of, like, satisfaction, this is probably the most satisfied I've ever been. This is probably like the most I feel like I'm, I feel validated when I go to work and people ask my opinion all the time. They're always asking me like, what do you think streamers would think of X or Y? And I'm always like, they'll hate it. <laughs> but like I get to like actually say these things and they listen to me and they actually do make changes based on like what we say. It's really nice. Uh, I do love horror games. I play a lot of horror games. Yeah, that's it. That's the story. It's a long story. Thanks for listening. I'm going to um I'm gonna raid someone now. And I hope you guys will be so kind to them and give them a big old Simone butt. 
DJ, you have access to Simon Thick now, so please utilize it. Enjoy that. Enjoy that Simone Thick. Oh, I will. <laughs> it's my favorite one. Um, well, I'm trying to think of who to raid. There's a lot of fun people here right now. Um, oh my goodness. Dan Reichert's playing Mario Kart 8. What do you guys think about that? Is that silly? Am I just sending you back to Giant Bomb? At least you'll enjoy him. I am gonna I'm gonna get that bundle too. So these are my last words to you. Um, have a great Monday. Thank you for spending your Monday with me. I really appreciate you. I like that you're here. I like your company. Um, I wish I could stream longer, but I'm hungry and I am gonna eat dinner. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and sending some time with me. And uh, I hope that I hang out with you guys again soon. And uh, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good night.